a culture of secret and cover-up, and it is all taking place on Nicola Sturgeon's watch. I don't think Ruth Davidson is in the position to lecture anyone about democracy. A clash between two titans of Scottish politics, but its origins lie with another. Alex Salmond, Nicola Sturgeon's former boss and mentor, and how her government handled allegations of sexual harassment against him. He says there was a plot to bring him down and that she misled the Scottish Parliament over what she knew and when. Miss Sturgeon says he's delusional and there's no evidence. It's all the subject of a Holyrood inquiry. But that was thrown into turmoil this week when evidence submitted by Mr Salmond had parts redacted, leading to accusations that Miss Sturgeon's political allies had interfered in the process and to these compelling scenes at First Minister's questions today. Does the First Minister understand why the public, to the public, this looks like a cover-up when the exact evidence that's being redacted is the most damaging to her personally. Scrutiny of me is, as I said earlier, it's important, it's necessary, it's entirely legitimate. What is not legitimate is to pursue um, a, a conspiracy theory, a scorched earth policy uh, that threatens the reputation and the integrity of Scotland's independent uh, justice institutions just because you happen to dislike this government um, and to sacrifice all of that, if I may say so, presiding officer, um, on the altar of the ego of one man. As tensions ran high, the politics sir? got personal. The reputation of the Scottish government tainted the standing of this parliament diminished. A culture of secret and cover-up that is only growing, and it is all taking place on Nicola Sturgeon's watch. And there's just one further question I want to ask. First Minister, is saving your own skin worth all the damage that you're doing? That's the same Ruth Davidson who's about to depart this elected institution, dodge an election, take a seat in the unelected House of Lords, where she will pursue a political career at the taxpayers' expense, but never have to ask voters for their permission ever again. I don't think Ruth Davidson is in the position to lecture anyone about democracy. But this is just the beginning, with Mr Salmon set to give evidence at the Holyrood inquiry tomorrow. We'll expect him to... Uh, talk about whether there's been a conspiracy against him. Through all of this, the SNP has uh, dissolved into splinter groups, uh, which is ironic given they're probably closer to independence than they've been at any point in the, their history. A First Minister that seemed to be pushing Scotland closer to independence, now holding her party together and holding on to her political career. She gives her evidence next week.